Hello everyone, my name is Sofia and today we are going to talk about skin allergies with Dr. Gerard. Thank you Sofia for welcoming me. So, could you tell us please, what does skin allergy look like? Sofia, skin allergy can look like in a lot of different ways. Uh, because it depends upon what kind of skin allergy you have. The predominant kind of skin allergy, the first one is urticaria or hives. The urticaria or hives basically look like red patches on the skin, raised red patches on the skin. They can vary from any size. The second kind of allergy is eczema, or also called as uh, atopic dermatitis. They look like scaly, itchy patches, which are there all over the body. They can uh, occur all over the body, starting from fingers to toes to any place. Then uh, there is uh, one thing called as contact dermatitis. That is also one form of allergy. In those patches, look only are affecting the areas where you apply that specific substance. Like for example, if I talk about if I am allergic to the strap of my watch, it will occur only in the region of the strap of my watch. So in contact dermatitis, they, they look very different. Should I stay out of the sun exposure until my rash or hives are gone? It's usually recommended uh, because of two things, to stay out of the sun because of uh, to when you are having hives or rashes. The reason for that is extreme of hot and extreme of cold can both lead to uh, exacerbation or uh, arctic area which can be more profluent. The second thing is there is one thing called a solar arctic area in which people who go out in sun and take a sun bath, they have arctic area. The reason for like echogenic arctic area is also one thing which is because of water. The reason for though both this solar arctic area and echogenic arctic area is basically not known. And can my skin allergies caused by uh, food allergy? Yes, the reason to, for that is there are various food allergens that have been associated with skin allergies. The most common and predominant one being uh, peanuts as, are one things which can cause arctic area and hives. Wheat or gluten per, per se is associated with skin allergies. Then there are various substances like eggs, uh, soyas, cow's milk, which has been associated with the wheat allergy. And some foods are also known for exaggerating allergies such as coffees and chocolates. And there are allergies inherited? Yes, the allergies are inherited, but not all allergies. There is a chance of having hereditary allergy. Like if your both parents have arctic area, the chances of you are having arctic area is 75%. And if you're only one of your parent is having arctic area, the chances of you having arctic area is almost 50%. And uh, there is one condition called as hereditary angioneurotic edema, which is purely hereditary. So it can transfer from parents to children. And in basically in hereditary angioneurotic edema, there is excessive swelling of lips and throat, uh, which can lead to anaphylaxis and death. What is the most common type of rash? So for the most common types of rash in allergy are two types. One is because of arctic area, you'd have red rashes all over the skin. So that is a most common kind of rash. The second one is because of eczema, you'll have uh, scaly rashes over the body. Can illness or an infection cause skin rash also? Uh, illness or uh, infection can lead to exaggeration of skin allergies. The reason for that is once you have illness or you have infection of the skin, basically the protective layer of the skin is damaged. So once the protective layer of the skin is damaged, it can lead to more allergies. Can uh, skin rashes be life uh, threatening? Skin rashes, uh, yes, can be life threatening in few cases and that case is called as anaphylaxis. Mm. Anaphylaxis is nothing but a severe form of allergy and basically it leads to swelling of the lips, throats and uh, you can even lose your consciousness and uh, in worse cases if you are not given a treatment on time, uh, people can die of anaphylaxis also. And what are the types of uh, skin allergy? There are various types of uh, skin allergies as I already told. One is contact dermatitis. Mm -hmm. Contact dermatitis is uh, nothing but uh, when you come with the co in contact with irritant substance or substances which are causing allergy. So it can lead to contact dermatitis. The second form of uh, allergy is arctic area which is the most common form and it can lead to red hives all over the body. Then eczema is also one form of uh, allergy and eczema is again uh, further of seven or eight types. The most common of uh, them being atopic dermatitis which is a form of eczema. It is basically due to allergy from various substances. 
and the second one wing wing allergic contact dermatitis allergic contact dermatitis occurs due to allergy of particular substances in and uh, touching those substances in that particular area and uh, there is one thing called as uh, dyshydrotic or pneumolar eczema which looks like a round coin patch that is also a form of eczema and there is uh, seborrheic dermatitis which is which we ordinarily call as that dandruff which is uh, called that is also one form of eczema so these are basically all common forms of eczema and uh, one of the rare forms of uh, this uh, allergy skin allergy is hereditary angioneurotic edema it's a hereditary condition in which there is uh, uh, excessive swelling of lips and throat and it can lead to unconsciousness and death of the patient so that needs a uh, timely attention and can you tell us what uh, contract dermatitis is exactly basically contact dermatitis is nothing but it is red red itchy rash over the body and it's a scaly rash in it is because of itching actually contact dermatitis may mostly occurs in uh, places where you are in contact with the allergic substance and uh, what is uh, urticaria or hives basically urticaria or hives is nothing but they are plain red bumps or welches you can call it Uh, over the body, they are they can be of uh, big size or small size. The size is variable in depends upon the patient, and uh, they can be found all over the body. It's also called as urticaria. How allergies are tested? Uh, Sophia, that's a very interesting question. Allergies can be tested by various tests, right? Uh, we uh, the most common uh, done test for allergies is skin prick test. In what we do in a skin prick test is we insert allergen substance into the skin. superficially so that uh, the reaction can be observed so mostly 50 to 100 substances depending upon the number you want to test are injected in the skin so that the skin prick test is one test the second uh, commonly used test for allergy is patch test patch test is usually used for contact dermatitis a patch is applied uh, to skin for 24 to 48 hours usually 48 hours and it is uh, the reaction of the skin is noticed after that and uh, the most commonly used test nowadays are blood tests so blood tests are of various kinds of blood tests are used ras test is one radio assorbent assays are one which is used for testing of allergy then we have uh, now uh, called uh, machines called as fadia and uroblot which are used for testing allergy and basically these all these t- tests and biological assays they what they do is estimation of specific ig levels they do in the body after which we can tell which allergen specific igs are elevated and that uh, by that we can diagnose the form of allergy and the cause of allergy and how is the skin prick testing can be done skin prick test as i already told it is usually done uh, by applying uh, the allergen injecting the allergen substance into the superficial skin usually 50 to 100 substances are tested but that depends again depends upon the patient sometimes children are not able to take so many pricks so less amount of uh, allergens are tested so it is basically uh, done and uh, immediate wheel and flare reaction can be observed after that we can diagnose what is the cause of allergy or what is the extent of the allergy and how about uh, patch testing patch test as i already told you sofia uh, basically patch testing is more successful for contact allergens so uh, if you observe a uh, con- patch test you are usually applied with the patch over the body at some part of the body mostly the back for 24 to 48 hours and after that we read if there is any reaction noticed in that patch what is allergy immunotherapy allergy immunotherapy is also known as a desensitization therapy or hyposensitization therapy it uh, is basically what we do is uh, we inject the person with the lows and dil- diluted doses of allergen so that eventually over time the immunity develops towards those substances it basically b- uh, works by reducing symptoms on exposure to that particular allergen so this is how allergen immunotherapy or hypo- hyposensitization therapy works is there any herbal way to prevent allergies there are a lot of uh, things in herbal treatments which are used for uh, treating allergy the most common being menthol mm-hmm. menthol uh, applied to hives or urticaria or skin itching it leaves uh, gives a lot of relief and uh, the second thing good for uh, allergies and itching is apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is commonly used in allergies to reduce the symptoms then aloe vera again application of aloe vera leaves the itching so it's commonly used then uh, coconut oil is commonly used in eczema even by the dermatologists all across the world 
to reduce the itching and uh, form a protective barrier on the skin. Then there is uh, pepper oil, pepper oil is uh, ca has common anti-inflammatory properties for the skin. So pe pepper oil is applied over the skin and uh, we do have a combination of all these things and we do have a combination of all the edible herbs in uh, we, which we call as a skin care kit for allergy care Ayurveda and uh, all these are available in that, yes. And uh, what is the duration of this treatment? Uh, duration of a particular herbal treatment for skin allergy usually lasts from 3 to 6 months and uh, after 3 to 6 months that depends upon the severity of the disease, right? Because the herbal treatments do not have any side effects. So these treatments can be taken for a longer period of time. Thank you so much doctor for uh, joining us today and uh, giving us so much information about uh, skin allergies. We know how much herbal treatments can help us out. If you would like to receive this treatment, you can order it from our website or contact us at the below mentioned number.